Hey guys, how's it going? It's 15th of December 2022. It is freezing and I have bought one of these diesel heaters, which is from a company called Vivor. However, that's pronounced. It cost £107.99 from eBay. Took about four days to get here. Uh, I believe they're getting more expensive as each day goes on. I don't actually think it's that model. But we shall see. Anyway, I've heard the manual's worth a bit of a laugh. Exhaust thingy. Another exhaust thingy. Don't know why there's two, but is that normal? I don't know. So here is the ancillary malarkey. So, two of these. Two bits of ducting. Uh, not exactly sure, 100 mil or 75 mil. One piece of exhaust piping, approximately two feet. Not sure what that is, I've got to be brutally honest. Is that a spare glow plug perhaps, or is that the actual glow plug? Large box of reasonably okay looking hardware. Seems like they've got OTT with that, which is fine by me. Air filter, that's not gonna filter out much with those holes, but uh, cabling package, these two will go to the power supply or the battery and these will go to the unit. Fuel line, which I've heard is a bit crap but then some people have been using it for years. Uh, exhaust bendy thing, approximately one foot in length. Air splitting device, presumably. So this must be the unit. This must be the unit, there we go. Don't know if these are any good or crap. I did see someone post on Facebook that some of them are rubbish, but that is the stock one that comes with it. Reasonably okay quality plate for the bottom of the device. There's the label on the side. Nice clear view, that's what I was saying. There is the bottom of the device. Not much going on there, fuel line in. One of them is the exhaust, one of them is the air intake. There's the back of the device, or is that the front? I'm not sure, that's the front. Uh, there's the inside of the device, so the heat exchanger, whatever it's called. Uh, what I'm doing is I'm just checking for scratches because it's always a good thing to do when you've bought something that's supposed to be new. There's a couple, but nothing major. So yeah, that, I don't know what that is. It's just a spare glow plug, that's pretty cool. I wouldn't have thought I'd have to actually install the glow plug, but I may be wrong. So yeah, that's that. I was in a bit of a hurry to get it out. Don't know if I mentioned there is a 10 litre fuel tank, I'm presuming. Uh, doesn't stay on the side. The cap's got a little hole in it. So that's basically it folks, I hope my uh, regular subscribers will like that. It runs from a 12 volt power source and it requires approximately 120 watts to start up and then it runs at 40 watts so that's quite easy with the wind turbine chucking out a kilowatt in the right conditions. So yeah, what I plan to do is get it set up outside, uh, get some in here and then just run it outside for a few hours, see how it goes. So keep an eye out for that video, I'll speak to you soon. Sweet.